how does Holder get through that damp spot where the drying agent is just where umpire is standing? Yep, it was bound to happen. False start, just testing the ground underfoot. I mean, it's, it's a concern for him. It has been for the umpires. But as a tall player, that's just in his stride line as well. So the news for you, Stacey, and for the millions who are eagerly anticipating this after that protracted discussion. Player's been suspended for the moment. Lunch will be taken at 11.30, four minutes from now. Absolutely right. You want to capitalize on this second new ball and ensure that you make it work for you. Good, aggressive delivery there you know, from Jade and Seals. What? He's giving him out. They've gone upstairs. Ball jacking coming up. It's pitching in line, in back in line. Wicket's hitting. Can we go back to Greg on field? Greg, can you stay with your out decision? You're on screen now. Decision upheld. Excellent delivery from Jade and Seals. Risty. Wonderful stroke. Continues uh, with the fluency we saw at the end of his innings on day one and gets a boundary for Pakistan. Because on the leg side, just enough bat uh, from Mohammad Rizwan. Another four for Pakistan, 227 for five now. Well, we have to say right on time, right on cue and up for the review. Ball jacking coming up. It's pitching outside of in packing line. Wicket's umpire's call. We go back to Greg on field. Greg, can you stay with your out decision? You're on screen now. Brilliant from Holder, brilliant from Da Silva. One ball is all it took. No man Ali's gone. Immediately thought about Holder and he got two wickets and two balls. That's excellently caught by the Silver diving in front of maybe first slip. That's hit well. Takes forward into the 90s. It's a beautiful shot. The last 12 months for this gentleman, he has been simply outstanding in the world game. Valuable runs, it should be four of them. 99 to Fawad Alam, 251 for seven. An innings of determination and resilience culminates in another test match century for Fawad Alam. His fifth in test match cricket. What a moment for this man. What a moment for Pakistan. Absolutely phenomenal. That will be another four for Fawad Alam short and wide. No protection in that area. And so a loose delivery and punished. The call is for two. It'll be run out. And just sold his partner under the bust. Fawad Alam. And he's gone. Yes, this was very bad calling. No, no. He saw the field the whole way. Didn't indicate anything to Hassan Ali. So he just turned and came back. That's over. That's 
So that's T on D3 of the second test match. 61 runs scored in this session for the loss of four wickets. Pakistan will go in at 273 for eight. Fawad Alam, a fifth test century for him. Unbeaten 111. Continues to be quite resolute and obdurate for Pakistan. Half century in the first test, a century in this one. Well appreciated by his teammates for his efforts. Really tenacious and exemplary from the Pakistani batsman. That is very good. Become a part and parcel in that reverse sweep of so many more talented players. Shaheen showing his skill. In the air should be simple catch. Yes, taken. Jin Seals gets another wicket for the West Indies. Of extra bounce and a little bit of extra pace. Well, decision made by Pakistan. Decision to declare and close uh, their first innings in this second test match. Exactly what we predicted. Pakistan being aware of the remaining overs in the day's play. A scheduled 29 overs. Two overs will be reduced uh, for the change in innings. And a lot of that decision would have been built on the success of that man on screen. A huge shot. And he's given him. The Shine Shah Fridi. And the strikes early. And there will be a discussion between the two batsmen whether or not to review. And he doesn't seem to be interested in the review. Kyron Power. This is what he does so well. Strike early with a new ball. Shine Shah Fridi. And once again gets Karen Powell trapped to LBW. Clean them up. Full straight. A little bit of swing. And good enough to topple the stumps of the West Indian captain. Yeah, just how good is this? It's pitched up. Delivery for St. Craig Rather to play across the line. Brilliant shot. Even with the block from Shine Shah Fruit, it still had the power to go all the way for four. And this one was short and hammered over mid wicket. All the way for six. So the short one dealt with quite competently by Ruston Chase. 20 for two, the West Indies. That's the ball of the previous over. A magnificent shot from Ruston Chase. The middle of the bat and the first six of the innings, the first six of the test match. Inadvertent. But he'll take it to get off the mark. And Kruma Bonham, he smiles. So does the bowler. That could so easily have gone back onto the stumps. His bat, I mean. Would have been one that I have not seen before. That's hit away. And we'll run into the boundary now. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Again, he gets Rust and Chase. It's coming in this time, not going away. Superb length from Fahim. This is a beautiful delivery. Came back, skipped off, and Rust and Chase had no answer to it. Over 
terrific shot by Nkrumah Bono. Will pick up another boundary. His uh, fourth in his innings. The umpires uh, in the remaining overs, they deliberated. And now we've come to the conclusion of the day's play. Going off because of bad light. The West Indies at the moment 39 for 3. And Krumah Bonner looking more in confidence. 18 from 37. Alzari Joseph yet to score. But Pakistan will be quite pleased uh, with their three wickets. They declared their innings, gave themselves a chance of bowling at the West Indian batsmen. And they will feel that that phase of their bowling has been successful. As Pakistan, I think, would be very pleased with what happened to them this afternoon, declaring a 302 for nine. And in the time allowed, they've managed three wickets. That's the minimum I think they would have wanted. So. I think Pakistan will be going off this second this last um, session a lot more in play. Pakistan's in 302 for nine. Fawad Alam from 212 for four at the start of today's play. His fifth test century, Fawad Alam, really played very well, kept that innings together. 75 from his captain earlier on. I thought they were they played a little bit early, but they knew their business better than me. 302 for nine. West Indies bowlers, uh, they had to toil really hard after picking up uh, three wickets. When Pakistan only conceded two runs, Kimar Roach, Jaden Seals, they were the architects of that uh, crisis created. And then Jason Holder, was able to come in and add with his two wickets. There was a run out as well. Bad mix up. Hassan Ali lost his wicket via that route. But the West Indian bowlers collectively were quite disciplined. West Indies in its first innings. Brathwaite and Powell dismissed cheaply. Roston Chase as well lost his wicket from a beauty by Fahim. Pakistan bowlers, Shain Shah Afridi, the star with the ball in this inning so far. Two for 13, he showed everything. Swing, accuracy, pace. And as mentioned, Ashraf getting the wicket of Roston Chase. So the match summary, West Indies trail by 263. Still two days left in this uh, test match. Pakistan will feel that they're more in control of proceedings.